welcome to the Covered Wagon here at Temple Christian High School. We've got WSN brings you a non-conference volleyball match. Spencerville Bearcats and Amy Hoback are in town to play. Tim Acklin's Temple Christian Pioneers. My name is Mark Science. My pleasure to do play by play. Alongside your color commentary, Mr. John Dornick. John, first of all, the tournament draw, you know, coming up a week next Sunday. Tournament play is in two weeks, and both teams here are prepping for that type of situation. I guess uh, Temple's playing very well. They've got a record of 15-3 going in. Um, Spencerville hasn't been so good, but they've been playing better lately. So they've last couple of matches, they've went five sets. So maybe the girls from Bearcats are peaking at the right time here. And we'll see tonight when they play a little better matchup with the Pioneers from Temple Christian. Well, John, while they're getting things set here on the floor, getting lineups and all those types of things, we just had our, our introduction of starting up of players and so on. The ceiling is very low here, and it comes into play much more so than the other facilities. So how about, how about a quick run down of the rules involving the ceiling? Accordingly, if the ball hits the ceiling and rebounds on the same side of the net as it went up and hit the ceiling on, and that team has contacts left to play, it's still in play. As soon as the ball hits the ceiling and breaks the plane of the net, it is considered out of bounds. If the ceiling, if the ball goes up and hits the ceiling on the third contact, it is dead immediately, and that ball is considered out instead of four contacts when it comes back to the floor. So if I'm a, if I'm Spencer Brown left side in, in black uniforms, if their second hit hits the ceiling, comes back down, the third hit can still play it across. It's played legally. Yeah. Yes. Okay. It just cannot hit the ceiling and go to the other side of the floor legally. Exactly. Okay. Or if it stays there on the third contact, it hits the ceiling. Temple and Christian, go ahead, John, sorry. I just wanted to make sure that if it stays on there on the third contact, it's still considered out. Temple Christian will be in the gray uniform tonight with the blue trim. They're on the right side of your viewing screen this evening. They are 15-3, and three and they are 5-0 and oh in the Northwest Central Conference. Spencerville in the all-dark uniforms are libero. Allison Post will wear red this evening. Temple Christian does not use a libero. And our first service today will be by Kelsey Lee. Ball. That ball is hit into the net by CeCe Warsham. And the first point goes to Spencerville. I got a feeling we're going to be seeing a lot of CeCe Warsham tonight here tonight. She leads uh, Temple Christian in kills by quite a margin. And she was the, or she is the reigning player of the year in the Northwest Central Conference. If she hit that ball right there. This will be the set by Kate Keller. And then it's hit out. Ball goes long by Bethany Moore, and we're tied at one. And as you said, John, looking at the stat numbers, one would be surprised if CeCe Warsham is not the best player of the year, or player of the year anyway, in this conference again this year. She has had a wonderful year. Watching her warm up tonight, Mark, so you can see why she's got that many kills. Service was by Grace Corwin, and that is an ace for Grace. She had 24 of those in the first 55 sets this year. Ball will be bumped up in the air and then finally pushed over by Lee. And a block out of the middle. That was done by Claire Hoback. We're tied at two. Claire Hoback read that very well. When the ball was set to the middle, she just took it and took it right back down to the floor. Olivia Oldham will enter, enter as Kendra Kill goes into service position. Ball be set by Kaylee Linhart, and Warsham hits. There's that ball off the ceiling we just talked about. Second one contacted the ceiling. Here's Warsham again, and puts that one out. Waited a long time. That was close. Yes, it was. I neglected to mention our officials this evening. Our, our uh, up official is Stephen Spoon, and Tim Voiles is our down official this evening. And that will be... Point Spencerville, it's 4-2, Bearcats. Good service also by Kendra Kill. She's a middle hitter, and she's a junior. Kendra dropped that right in between the campfire there. Linhart sets again. Washington just bumps it to the middle of the floor that time, but they keep it alive, but not legally. Spencerville will maintain a one-point lead as... 
Temple goes to serve. This will be Emily Bontrager. She's a 5'8 senior. Coach Acklin has six seniors on his roster of seven players. Grace Corwin is a sophomore. Kendall Roberts just came into the game for the Bearcats, Mark. Okay, thank you. There's a kill. That will go to Olivia Oldham. Nice swing by Olivia there. Put the ball right down there off the top of the net. 5-3. The senior Claire Hoback will serve this ball. Overpass. And just to bump it over. Here's the set will be by Bontrager, and Linhart hits that one. And that will go off of Haley Smith on the kill by Kate Keller. And Bearcats have him doubled up, 6-3 early on. Spencerville playing very well so far, Mark. That they are. Potrager sets, and ball is tipped to the open spot. Good play in the middle by Juliet Kinnear. Oh, yes, that was a very nice play. That could have very easily been a double contact there, but she played it with one hand. Made a nice play out of it. Washington serve. Potrager will set. This kill will be by Kinnear. Diving play puts the couldn't get the ball back up in the air. It's 7 4. Ball's tipped to the middle of the floor. That will be a point. That goes to Kinnear. Here's Juliet to serve. And her serve is long. It's 8-5, the visiting Bearcats. Olivia Oldham to serve this time. Her serve goes into the net, 8-6. And the serve will be Kaylee Linhart. Putting my roster together today, John, Temple Christian leads the league in half numbers. Okay, Worsham is 5'9 and a half, Holloway is 5'5 five, five and a half, Linhart's 5'8 and a half, Kinnear's 5'7 and a half. They, they lead the league in half inch sizes this year. Okay. There we go, off the ceiling. Played though by Kate Keller. This is Holloway. Jesse hits it to the middle of the floor. Worsham has to play that one. This is Holloway again. And it's in. 9-6. Temple Christian has served only, or scored only one point on service. The last four have all been side outs. And that will fall. Good kill that time by Emily Bontrager. It's 9-7. Jesse Holloway will serve this ball. She is second on the team with 42 aces this season. This will be played over by Hoback and double contact. Temple finally scores on service. Makes it 9-8, Spencerville. Pull back, blocked with the net, and still bumped over. Good play by Smith. Little overpass there, here's Linhart to set. And Worsham puts it away down the line. Wow, that was a very nice play there. Tied took it that nine. ball that yep. was out set out to the pin, took it right down the line. Nice shot by C.C. Worsham. Temple has tied it at nine, scoring the last three points. Service again to Holloway. Deep serve that time. 
pushed over by Hoback. And Warsham has to just free ball it over. Kill attempt by Kelsey Lee comes up short. Temple has the first lead since they were ahead two to one. Holloway has scored three points in the service. And just dumped it across the net, ended up with a point, surprised them, we're tied at 10. Kate Keller did a nice job on that from the back row. Just stayed below the top of the net and uh, the, let the ball come down and just put it where they weren't. Kelsey Lee, a sophomore for Coach Amy Hoback. Worship pushes over with two hands. As does Bethany Moore, Monroe. And back at you. And overpass, but she missed the sidelines. 11-10, Spencerville. Kelsey Lee to serve again. She has 21 aces this season. And then the push at the net by Bethany Monroe will not go. They're tied at 11. will allow number 26, Grace Corwin, to enter. The only non-senior plays for Coach Tim Ackland in his 11th year at Temple Christian. And there's an ace. Grace started off serving for the Pioneers, and now she's back in, so we've made one complete rotation around the floor here, Mark. Good serve. Back-to-back -back aces, 13-11. I guess that's why Coach Ackland yeah. has her serving first. New ball time as the first one rolls out into the hallway. And that's a long hallway. <laughs> it's a very long hallway. <laughs> Good serve again. Monroe plays it over. Linhart will set. And Lusham. Left it short in the net. Sissy just got to stay behind the ball a little more. Olivia Oldham will enter, and Kendall Kill will serve. And after Grace did her service duties, she's replaced by Haley Smith. That's blocked. Give that point to Bethany Moore. Nice job. That's her second block for a point tonight, Mark. So we're tied at 13. Kill again to serve. Linhart sets. That's block. Good block by Monroe again. Bethany Monroe and Claire Hobach both teamed up for a double block there and uh, Got another point. Spencerville back on top, 14-13. They've scored the last three points. Kendall Kill again. She calls her the next place. That's so hard to defend oh, that. It is. Yep. Yeah. No matter whether it's just hard to defend. And you can't practice it. You know, it's just Smith plays that one. And they have to go chase it down, push to the back row by Holloway. And then free balled over. Linhart sets. To... Holloway sets. And, oh, nice play. How about that, John? I don't know how CC Washam got that ball back over. That was a great play, athletic play. 15, 14, the angle she had to get it to get it inside the antenna. That, that's a very uh, uh, an amazing play. It's 15, 14, Spencerville as Montrager serves. Oldham hits into the net. We're tied at 15. Back and forth here, back and forth here. Who's going to go on a little bit of a run here to take charge? 
Spencerville is twice ahead, uh, three times ahead by three. There's that tough ceiling play. Good job. Keeping it alive. Emily set. And tipped across the net. Another block by Bethany Moore. Bethany Moore has had a really good opening set doing just exactly that. Oh, blocks for points. Those are more uh, even better. Kind of a demoralizing thing. You know, you think you got the ball where you want it, maybe with some power behind it. He's set. Tip to an open spot. That will be a point for Warsham. Good heads up play. 16 all. Even though it didn't work out very well, Claire, Claire Hobach played that very well. She went up for her block and then uh, came down and still got the ball, tipped the ball. C.C. Warsham has 57 aces in 55 sets. That leaves Temple Christian, and she just got another one. Oh, she almost kicked it up in the air, which is legal now, right, John? Yes, it is. Used to be it had to be played above the waist, and now they went on down to the knees and all the way down to the feet now. So you'd be surprised these girls are so athletic how they can play them off their feet. Another good serve by Warsham. Oh, good play that time, getting it over by Hoback. Holloway's shot's blocked. Linhart will hit this time. Free balled over, but we get a Spencerville Bearcat in the net. It was Olivia Oldham. And for the first time, well, I guess not actually the first time. They led 9-7 a while back. They lead now 18-16 to his temple. 17 now for Spencerville, 18 for the home team. Neither team has called a timeout yet here in our opening set as Bethany Monroe serves. I bet Temple's glad to get her out of the front row. <laughs> Warsham from behind the 10-foot line just pushes it over. A free ball. This will be Holloway, and she tips to an open area. Set. And kill attempt, good hit by Kelsey Lee, and she gets a point for her efforts. They're tied at 18. Both teams have been popping the ball up pretty good, getting sets. They just haven't been able to put the ball away. Monroe serves. Good play in the front row by Kate Keller. Holloway hits. Another good play. That time it was Lee. And then Worsham goes and gets one. Both teams playing good defense. <laughs> and a little bit of miscommunication. The ball falls. I'm thinking, John, you know, all those coaches who say, don't let the ball hit wood, in, in this floor, that's not going to work. <laughs> you need another phrase. Oh, I know. With the tartan floor they have here, the rubberized surface. All the way tips to the middle of the floor. Oldham hits this one, and we'll be tied at 19. Juliet Kinnear serves. And Holloway gets a kill. Olivia Odom had a nice tip on the ball. We just didn't have anybody that could dig it up. Jessica Holloway has 101 kills before tonight. And there's an ace. A lack of communication back row. And that one will fall for Juliet Kinnear. Her, well, she had 41 before tonight. We're going to get our first time out. This will go to Spencerville. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Performa Adeline is one source with infinite resources for, for promotional print, e-commerce, and multimedia needs. Our business is growing your business. We appreciate their sponsorship this evening. Spencerville takes our first time out as they trail 21-19 in a very closely played opening set. Back to serve will be Juliet Kinnear. And 
Co Coach Hoback there talking to her girls about just a little more communication out there. Free ball over by Lee. Linhart hits. This will be Lee again. This time she gets a kill attempt and puts it away. That was a nice swing, Kelsey. 21-20. Kendall Roberts will leave, and she will be replaced by Kendall Kill as we go back row, front row with those two. There's Oldham. And Holloway gets one to the back row. Now, John, that ball hit the backboard, and because it's in play, had a girl been there ready to play the ball without the backboard disrupting it, they could have played her and then a replay or whatever, but uh, that was clearly out of bounds. Yes, the ball should be blown dead immediately, and then it's a discretionary replay by the R1. Linhart serve. Lee again. And then Linhart comes to set. Holloway tips. Good play in the front row by Hoback. And Hart sets again. And she gets a kill. Good Holloway. Mark, I'm surprised Temple's uh, setters are playing very well tonight. Even when they don't get the best pass, they're making a pretty good set either uh, with their forearms or with their fingers. Way back on August 25th, Kaylee Linhart got her 1,000th assist for her career. Did it against uh, uh, Lima Senior on August 25th. And obviously he's added to that since the season's gone along. It's going to be a point Temple, and they are now a point away from taking the opening set. As Linhart will serve again. And we're going to get our second timeout. This one will also go to Spencerville. This is season 18 of the Sports Report. Every Friday night, you can join Patrick Candler for a full hour of the most comprehensive football coverage around. All seasons long, it's on Fridays at 10 p.m. on WTLW. Patrick does a great job putting all that stuff together. The free WSN app is the easiest way to follow local high school sports. No one covers more schools, more sports, and more scores than WSN. You can search in the App Store or in the Android Play Store. Where every high school press box and probably every stand, everybody in the stands on Friday nights and halftime hits at your game, that's where you're at. I use it a lot. <laughs> uh, so do I. Kayla Linhart trying to serve out set number one. Serve. Good and serve. it's going to fall for the four. And Temple, after trailing the early parts of set one, will come back and take set to 25-20. From set one. Set two coming up after this. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Our scoreboard today is made possible by Proforma Adeline, a one source with infinite resources for promotional, print, and e-commerce, and multimedia needs. Our business is growing your business. Temple Christian wins the opening set, 25-20. We will go to set two. We mentioned that Kayla Linhart uh, achieved uh, her 1,000th assist earlier this year. Coach Acklin had his 100th win on September 20th. He did so against Upper Soda Valley. And this group of young ladies, he's got over 100 wins, and they have 53 of them. The senior class has won 53 Volleyball matches in their four-year career, looking for 54 tonight. So congratulations to Coach and to the senior class. First service will go to Jesse Holloway. Good serve. There's your ceiling coming into play. You know, if you don't practice on something like that, Mark, it is so hard. Yep. We always had the rafters at LCC when I coached there, so at least this is a little flatter here, but still quite a problem. Good Another serve. serve yeah. Yes. And we're going to get double contact. I think the other part of that, John Spencerville has one of those wonderful new gyms with a nice high ceiling, and, and you're used to having a lot of room to bump the ball up in the air and make a play on it, and then you, know, you come in here, it's a big difference. So If you don't practice on that, it's, it's tough.
Worsham has to go down and get that one. And then this one we played about played over by Kinnear. Hold back hits. Nice dig by Jesse Holloway back in the middle back. Here's Linhart setting Worsham. And CeCe gets a kill. First three points of this set will go to Temple. CC took a little bit off of that one and uh, got it in and uh, just was hard to play. Well, you mentioned Jesse Holloway with a dig just a moment ago. She has a 1,000 digs in her career. Obtained that a little while ago this season. So some landmark things have taken place this year for this Pioneer Volleyball team. There's a play at the net. I had bodies in front of me. Was that Warsham? Yes, it was. I thought it was. I got looking right through the our official RR1. They couldn't quite see who it was, but the play looked like something she would do. Here's Holloway to serve again. And overpass and try to play it out of net, and they do so. Good play by Kate Keller. And then Worsham says hello. Hello, goodbye, yeah. how are you? <laughs> <laughs> what does um, Wally Bremen used to say? Good morning, good afternoon, and good night? Yeah, yeah here it comes. <laughs> good play by CeCe at the net. 5-0 Temple. All five points have been served by Jesse Holloway. And... Got another good serve, makes it 6-0. That little floater serve, it comes over, you think it's gonna come back and then it just dies. That was a nice serve by Jessica Holloway. You could tell by Bowersock having to lean forward and make every effort to get a ball that was dying on her. Here's another one. This will be set for Hoback and her kill attempt comes up short. 7-0 Temple, I thought Coach Hoback was gonna take a timeout she looked at our R2 and decided not to. And the serve goes long, so. Timeout well saved. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> Holloway with a good service run put seven points on the board, and now this serve will go to Kelsey Lee. Her 21 aces on the season are second to Claire Hoback's 46, and Temple gets the ball right back. Side out. Here comes Grace Corwin to serve. As we noted earlier in the uh, opening set, Grace is kind of the designated server, does a really good job at. Looks like Coach uh, Acklin just might have backed his rotations up one there. And overpass, play the net. And then hit out of bounds by Emily Montrager. That was a nice block, but then they played it right back out of the net and got it over just a little wide. Here's Olivia Oldham, and she takes Lillian Bowersock's place in the front row. No, she goes to serve, excuse me. And back in on the other side is Haley Smith. And Smith comes right in and plays that one, but the ace chalked up on the other side. That ace goes to Kendall Kill. That was a good job by uh, Kendall Kill to see a new person come in and serve right at him. Linhart sets. Worsham has to back up. That was blocked at the net. And free balled over. And that one will fall. Emily Botrager got that hit. So it's 9-3 Pioneers, and Emily will go to serve. She has 32 aces on in the season. Had that kill a moment ago. She had 26 of those before tonight. Free ball over. Kinnear tips to an open spot. And they're going to get a point out of it. 10-3 now in favor of the Pioneers. Temple's put together a couple of nice little runs. Got to have Emily to serve again. One of the two setters for Coach Acklin. And nicely placed by Claire Hoback. 10-4 and Claire's turn to serve. But a moment ago, she has 46 aces to lead her team. So do her 89 kills. 
And she chalks up another ace right there. Daughter of a coach, I imagine she spent a lot of time uh, messing with volleyballs over the course of her mom's coaching career. Clara's a senior this year. And that's one of those ceiling things. Even if you practice them all the time here, you get things like that to occur. Here comes the Bearcats. Got a little run of their own going. That is correct. They have scored five of the last seven points in the match to cut it to 10-6. Nicely played yeah. out of the net. Good job. And that's going to fall. 10-7. Always tell your setter, play defense first. Clara served three consecutive points, going for four with this one. Orson puts it over. Oh, good play by Bethany Monroe. And then Worsham, two hand pushes to the back, and it fell right on the line. Cece will go back to serve. She had 261 kills in their first 55 sets this year. And that serve was a hard serve. That's going to get her a point. Wow. That was a very deep serve, hard with some pace. Tough to play. Yet another one, same spot. And it goes outside the antenna. Hence the point to Temple Christian. John, the baskets are down here. If you're a server, you throw the ball up and it hits the backboard or the rim or the net. You still have the opportunity to serve it, but you can't catch it. As soon as you uh, make contact with it, the backboard, if you can continue to play it, play on. If you catch it, it's uh, illegal. And likewise, if the ball's up in there somewhere and the official thinks you could get to it and make a play, it's a replay. Off the top of the tape. Holloway hits that one to the middle of the floor, and she's going to score a point. The team leads by six, 14-8. Turn the draw comes up on the ninth. Both of these teams are in the Wapak district. And in Division Four, as we'll get through this play first. And out on the attempt by Kelsey Lee. I think uh, line judge changed his mind. Oh, on he did, that. didn't he? Yes, he did. 14-9. Uh, the sectionals for Division Four are the 18th and 20th of October. And then the districts at Wapak are on October 25 and 27. I can tell you there is lots of scrambling going on at WSN when there will be Sunday. Soccer draws coming up, volleyball, and then trying to put together a football playoff schedule as Linhart gets a kill. This week on WSN, the soccer games this week and Thursday night volleyball this week for the Western Buckeye League lead, Salina and Wapak. Ooh. That will be replayed on Friday evening. In fact, you can catch that before you go to your local game. There's a point that will also go to Temple Christian. I'd like to know where that one's being played at. That is that Wapak. Come on down. All right. <laughs> All right. Spencerville has to take a timeout as they are behind in this set. 16-9. Timeout for us also. You're watching High School Volleyball on WSN. What questions do you have about life and about God, about things happening in your community or family? Get answers when you watch Life Questions. Each week, four local pastors will discuss relevant topics and answer questions submitted by people just like you. Life Questions on TV 44, Sundays at 1.30, Wednesdays at 9.30, and you can find it online at WTLW.com. Our performer, Adeline Scoreboard, says Temple Christian 16, Spencerville 9 in set 2. That was our first time out here in this set. Worsham from behind the 10-foot line just... Pushes it over, makes everybody dive to get it. He expected the fastball and to get the change up. Here's Lenhart to set. 
And free balled over. A little bit of ping pong going on right here. Kelsey Lee kept that ball in play for the Bearcats here. Holloway hits to the middle of the floor. And unable to play it out of the next, so Temple will get the point. 17-9, good point. Lindhart to serve again. Lindhart will set Holloway and ball hit the ceiling and they can't keep it alive. Temple now doubled him up at 18 to 9. And Lindhart will serve again. Mark Coach Ackland's done a nice job of uh, training his girls how to play defense there. Both of them were the middle back and the left back. We're in a perfect position there to play defense. You know, the last 10 points have gone away of the Pioneers, and now 9 out of 11. And they have taken a 10-point lead. Spencerville has uh, just three wins on the year, but two of their last five, three uh, sets, uh, three, two of their last three matches. They play at the net. That will also go Temple's way. Two out of their last three matches have gone five sets. Columbus Grove and Upper Soda Valley. Improvement going throughout the course of the season. Almost an ace. Here comes Lenhart to set. And she sets Holloway, who tips into the net, and the string is broken. And it's 2010, however, Temple here in set two. And to serve will be Kate Keller. Lenhart sets, and Bontrager hits to the back row. This will be Hoback. And Worsham has to play it, and then Lenhart. Smith hits it over. Good adjustment off the ceiling there. And Lenhart tries to make a play on a ball hit by Kendall Kill and cannot. And Kate Keller gets to serve again. She has eight aces this season and 124 assists, which leads the team there. Serve right there goes short, so it's 21-11. And Holloway will serve. Jesse has 42 aces this year. 174 digs, that's second on the team. Good hit that time by Kelsey Lee. That was a nice takeoff there. She took off and hit, it, hit that ball off of one foot, put her right down to the floor in the back. It's a difficult angle from uh, hitting the right corner to the left side of the floor. Good job. Here she gets to serve too. Linhart sets, and a nice play of finding the open air areas. Emily Bontrager. 22-12. Temple trying to get set number two as they did set number one. Winning set one, 25-20. Here comes Grace Corwin to serve. And she got an ace right there. You know, John, that's a big part about coaching, isn't it? You find something that somebody can do well, and even if it's only a spot duty, you stick them in and let them do it. Especially as a server, you can score points yep. and score a lot of points quickly. Comes a sub in. This will be uh, Livia Hodge Miller will enter for Spencerville, trying to break the run a little bit. Another good serve. And trying to go cross court was Beth Bethany Monroe and Temple now a point away from taking this set as well. If you only get two timeouts, sometimes you got to use those substitutions just to break the break the momentum. Court one to serve. Trying to keep it alive was Monroe. Here comes Warsham, and with the set on the line, she just puts the ball away. C.C. Warsham gets the kill. Her team takes set to 25-12. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. We're back at Temple Christian High School where Performal Adeline is our scoreboard sponsor this evening. 
Performa Adeline is a one source for, with infinite resources for promotional, print, e-commerce, and multimedia needs. Our business is growing your business. We appreciate their support this evening. Temple Christian has taken the first two sets of this match, 25-20 and 25-12. To serve for Spencerville in set three is Kelsey Lee. Linhart will set. Smith hits out of the middle. And then that kill will be chalked up to Bethany Monroe. Pensaville scores first here in this set. They also did the opening set. They passed the ball well and got the set out to her, and uh, Bethany put the ball down. Here's Lee to serve again. Kinnear hits it out of the middle. And then from the back row will be Lillian Bowersock. And Warsham got it on the sideline for a point. She's gone both ways, John. She's gone cross court and she's gone down the line. And either way, she's a, a force at the net. I can see why uh, Coach Ackland's team is 15-3. and three. If you've got a stud like that to uh, set the ball to and she can put it on the floor for points. Colin serves. Good serve by Grace. Lee hits it out of the back row. And Corwin has to free ball it over. And kill attempt out of the middle by Claire Hoback goes long. And Temple with a lead, two to one. Kind of a special evening here tonight. They honored the referees this evening, Stephen Spoon and Tim Voiles. Referee Appreciation Week, we found out when we got here this evening. That ball's hit out of the back row, and that will be a point for Kate Keller. Right on the back line, that was a nice shot. Very good job from Kate. I think the Pioneers kind of gave up on that one just a little bit too soon. We talked about this being a Temple Christian team with six out of the seven players being seniors. There are only two seniors that play for Amy Hoback. Uh, team in its development stage as a serve misses. Temple three and Spencerville two. Mark, I didn't check. Have you uh, seen what the uh, Temple's JV team's uh, record is I this did, year? You no, know, I did not look at that when we came in this evening. You know, with six out of seven seniors, mm -hmm. he's going to have somebody's going to have to step up next year. Ball's bumped over. There's Lenhart hits. And she will get a point. 4 2. It's a big week for Temple Christian. On a Thursday night, they have Perry in here. Perry is also 5 0. Oh. Perry's playing Lima Senior on a Tuesday night and then playing Temple for probably the league championship coming up on Thursday in this gym as Warsham gets a kill. You know, Mark, CeCe Washam's got a lot of kills tonight, but I'm really impressed with Haley Smith for only being a 5-5 middle hitter. Um, she can sure get up over the top of the net. Potlegger serves. Ball's tipped at the net. And then a kill attempt will be short by Kate Keller. Temple Christian has three matches left. Two of them are league matches. I said they have Perry here on the sixth. They go to... North Baltimore, which this year is a non-league match. Next year will be a league match as North Baltimore and Corey Rossum will enter the NWCC. And then they have Elgin here on the, uh, the 13th. And that will finish up their NWCC schedule. And can they get it over? And they push it over, but they did so illegally. 6-4. Perry has uh, this match on with Lima Senior. Then they have uh, the one here with Temple Christian. And then they finish up with uh, Ridgedale at home on the 13th of October. So each of the schools have two league conferences and matches, including one with each other. 6-5, Spencerville. Coach Ackland's got his team swinging out of the back row, too. Mark, that's a good sign. Kinnear hits out of the middle and scores. 
7-5. Worsham to serve. Nice serve. Hit over by Lee, and then goes out. Talk to the athletic director here, B.J. McFerrin. B.J. said they got a lot of big things planned Thursday evening. Students come in for free and trying to whip up some excitement for that big league match with Perry on Thursday night. And we're tied at seven, thanks to the ace. Bethany Moore, that's her. She's had a few aces tonight, I believe. That is correct. Bethany will serve again. One of those two seniors, she and Claire Hoback. And that will be an ace. Fincherville takes the lead at 8-7. Bethany had 18 aces before this evening's actions. And Smith has to play that one. And Holloway hits to the middle of the floor. Temple stops the run. We're tied at eight. It's amazing what a good pass and a good set will get you. A point in the side out, and you get to serve. <laughs> and Juliet Kinnear gets to serve here, right, uh, in this particular place. And good serve from her. And that will be an ace as it falls. Nine, eight, Pioneers. Another ace. Dropped that one up. That was a good one. Yes, it was. Split the defenders in the back line there. Barely cleared the height of the net. Kinnear to serve again. She had 41 aces before this evening. And that one missed on the sideline. So Spencer will get the ball back, trailing by one. Kendall Kill coming in for Kendall Roberts. And Olivia Oldham gets to serve. She's a junior. Set, Smith hits. And that will be a point for Temple Christian. 11-9, Pioneers. Bearcat, Bearcats just haven't gotten into a good passing uh, rhythm yet tonight, Mark. Lily Bowersock just entered to play in the back row. Linhart serves. And Linhart plays that hit. There's the set. This will go to Lee. And that's blocked. And that kill goes to Kate Keller. Here's Kate Keller to serve. Warsham two hand pushes to the back row and should get a point for doing so. 12 10 Temple. Jesse Holloway's turn to serve. Chase, chalk that up to Holloway. 13-10. Hard serve, didn't quite get over the top of the tape. And to serve will be Kelsey Lee. Thirteen eleven on the Performa Adeline scoreboard. Warsham dumps it to the middle of the floor. And that attempt goes out, so Temple gets the ball back. That was a nice job, nice job by Juliet Kinnear uh, coming in, realizing the ball was going to be out of bounds and just let it go. Here's Grace Corwin. 5-1 sophomore. Good serve. And Corwin plays that hit by Mont Monroe. And 
the ball falls on the side of Spencerville, so the point will go to Temple Christian 15-11. And here's our first time out here in set number three. Temple 15, Spencerville 11. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN. Performa Adeline is one source with infinite resources for promotional print, e-commerce, and multimedia needs. Our business is growing your business. And they have been sponsoring our scoreboard this evening. And that ball is bumped over by Bethany Monroe. And block at the net. That will get a player Hoback. So the timeout works for Coach, Coach Amy Hoback. Still 15-12 Pioneers as Kendall Kill serves. Olivia Oldham back in to play the front row for Lillian Bowersock. Linhart sets Warsham, who has to adjust, yeah, that's blocked at the net. I, Monroe was there, so was Hoback. Kind of had to adjust her steps a little bit, didn't she? And then we got a good, good block at the net. Ball goes back to Temple Christian as they have a 16-13 lead. This will allow Emily Bontrager to score, to serve. 32 aces for her this year. Ping pong around and point goes to Temple Christian. 17 17-13. Pioneers trying to make it a three-set victory tonight. Make it 18-13. Starting a little bit of a run here, pulling away just a touch. Guess that's what you'd like to do, John. You've got a big league match on Thursday. Let's, let's get three good sets in and get out of here, right? That's what get you probably little, want to do. Get a little game practice yeah. and get out without anybody. Ooh. Worsham tipped the ball to the open area of the floor. Diving attempt made by Kate Keller, but she couldn't secure the ball back into play, and Temple has a six-point lead. Kate from, come from all the way across the floor and made a diving attempt and just couldn't get it up high enough to play. This set will go to Hoback. This set will go to Worsham. Blocked at the net again. Oldham, that one's blocked. Warsham tips the ball in the middle of the court and has a point. Boy, any way to keep adding to that kill total. Five-point run, Temple Christian. And that makes it six. 21-13, favor of the home team. Here's a Spencerville timeout. As they trail by eight here in this particular set. There is no admission fee to watch this game, but there is a cost for us to broadcast. Say thanks to viewer support at TV44 by sending a financial gift. TV44 relies on the donations of viewers to enable airing this game and other locally produced program. Donate now at WTOW.com and click Donate. Pretty nice night tonight, John. They did this thing honoring the officials. That's a good thing we saw. Oh, that's, you know, like I said before, they treat everybody out here with kindness and respect. <laughs> that they do. Like everybody should. Well, our two officials this evening came down from the Rossford area, made a long drive down, so a little special uh, bonus pack, I guess, for those guys this evening. We appreciate that. The athletic director here. B.J. McFerrin organized that. And again, they do a lot of really positive things here at Temple Christian. Well, Spencerville's trying to stop a run. They trail by eight here in set number four. And Emily Bontrager will serve again. Spencerville has used both of their timeouts. Temple trying to close it out in three. They need to get a good pass here, Mark. And there's the pass. Set, and just what you want to do. Find Claire Hoback and have your senior put it away for you. Nice job by the Bearcats that time. Just what Coach wanted to do coming out of that timeout. Makes the coaches look like geniuses. Here's Claire Hoback to serve. 
A lot of good numbers for her this year. 89 kills, 46 aces, 123 assists, and 97 digs. So she's had a really good senior year for the Bearcats. There's Worsham's shot. I think it went into the tape, John. That wasn't going to go over, was it? I don't think it so. It didn't look like it. A couple blockers there, but I think she hit it into the tape that time. Here's her back again. Here sets Linhart. 16 now for Spencerville, 21 for Temple Christian. It's a good three point run now. Let's see if they can keep it going here. And they do so with an ace. Here's Hoback to serve again. There she goes, just tipping the ball to the open spot, does That's CC Warsham. Good volleyball IQ right there. 20, you don't have to hit it hard. 22-17, Temple Christian. And almost an ace, good play on by Lee to get down the floor and get it. Blocked with the net, that block will go to Bethany Monroe. A little overpass, even the Bearcats knew that there was not much she could do but take that over, so it was put up and blocked right back. Here's Bethany Monroe to serve. Good serve, and that's gonna be an ace as she hits it off of Haley Smith. Spencerville making it tough for the Bear, for the Pioneers to get out of this one, and Coach Ackland will take a timeout. We're going to break two. It's 22-19 Temple. You're watching high school volleyball on WOSN. First time out for Coach Tim Ackland. His team has seen their lead decrease from a eight to three. You're in set number three as Monroe serves again. Timeout broke her momentum, and now Temple Christian's just two points away from taking set three and the match. To serve will be Juliet Kinnear. Set Lee. Worsham passes up to Holloway just free balls it over. Kill attempt out of the middle by Keller. This be Holloway. Her shot's blocked. Good touch at the net there by Bearcats. And then the kill attempt by Kate Keller is long. Here is Temple Christian needing a single point to take the match. And Lee's shot goes into the net, and Temple Christian will take set number three. This one they will do at 25-19. means Temple Christian will take the match. They took set one, 25-20, set two, 25-12, set three, 25-19. John Spencerville, there's just three wins this year, but they had moments when they played pretty well tonight. Mark, they did a lot of good things tonight. They just couldn't put anything together. You know, string together three or four passes, bring together three or four serves where they could get a run, you know, but they've done a lot, a lot of good things and some things that they can build on. Spencerville will go to three and 16 on the season. They are 0 and 5 in the Northwest Athletic, in the Northwest Conference. Temple Christian, they will improve to 16 and three. And they are 5 and 0 in conference action in the NWCC and they have a huge match coming up against Perry here on Thursday evening. We're going to try to get an interview with Coach Ackland if we can catch him before he escapes from the gym this evening. I want to thank our camera and tech people tonight. That's Megan Sherrick and Lexi Waddle. Megan's going to take this back to the station and edit it all together. We appreciate their efforts and we appreciate the efforts of BJ McFerrin, the athletic director here as well. We're going to try to get an interview if we can. You're watching High School Volleyball on WOSN.
Welcome back to Temple Christian. We've got Coach Tim Ackland with us. Coach, it's a nice reset win tonight for you. Yeah, we'll take it. Uh, always nice to get it down in three. Coach, you've got six seniors that have played a lot of volleyball for you, and, and they each one kind of bring a different skill set to the table. And you've been prepping for this for a long time. Talk about your seniors. Uh, the seniors, this is a great class we got here this year. Um, the seniors have come along. They work very hard, and uh, and they deserve a good finish that they've had and, and uh, the record that they've had. They set some nice goals for this year and working real hard to get there. Well, Coach, they've won, I think, 54 matches in their four-year career here. For You've gone over 100 wins here. It's kind of special to put a program together like this and watch the growth over the years. Uh, it is. You know, that's what we work for, you know. you got to build these programs from the bottom up. And uh, we're kind of peaking right now, and then uh, we're probably going to – Struggle a little bit the next year or two, but uh, that's the way it goes with a small school, you know. Uh, you celebrate the good years, and then you, know, you got to work through the, the other years. Coach, you've got two good setters. You've got a couple hitters in the middle, so you're really pretty well balanced. Uh, we are. Uh, unfortunately, we uh, lost one of our players here right before the season. We had seven. Got a really good libero in, in Jesse, um, but uh, she has to play outside for us now because we only have six. Uh, but she's getting the job done for us, so she's really stepped it up for us. Final question, Coach. You have a huge match coming up here on Thursday night with the Perry Commodores. Uh, we do, uh, probably for the league championship, uh, and they're, um, uh, they're only a game or so behind us, you know, uh, record-wise, so it's going to be a battle here. It'll be an exciting game to watch. Good. Coach Tim Ackland, thanks for being with us, Coach. His team takes a three-set victory tonight over Spencerville. You've been watching high school volleyball on WOSN.